Okay, so now we want to look at how to import or read an SPSS or SL file in Python using the Jupyter Notebook. So as we have already done in our previous data importation tutorial, first of all, we have to ensure that this um, Pandas library is installed. So you can use this code of line to install it. Once you install it, um, you just have to comment on it. You don't have to run it again. Then the next step is to load the pandas library by making use of this import function import pandas as pd this is a short form for pandas right so i've already run this so i don't need to run it again then the next step is to basically load the data set but you also have to ensure that this self or the spss file is in your current working directory so if i go to my um folder where i have my python source file or the python right um Jupyter notebook you can see that i have the um spss file dot self yeah right it's in the same folder where i have this uh, python source file or the Jupyter notebook so um we can then proceed so i want to now load the data set and i want to give a name to the data set so i'm going to say there's going to be spss underscore data right that's the name that i want to give to the data set that i want to load so the pandas library is what i'm going to use pd dot read underscore spss right this function is in the pandas library so we have to look at the name of our data set which is data dot serve that extension for spss right so we can run this okay so it's finished so we can now view view the first five observations right so i'm going to use the name of the data set spss underscore data dot heard right so here we go this is giving us the first five observation of our data set i will copy this if i want to look at the last five observations copy and paste and change this to tail so let's run shift enter and here we go we have the last five observations of our data set let's look into more details right so let's get a structure for our data set structure of data set so it's going to be the name of the data spss underscore data dot info right so with this we get the structure of our data set we have 30 entries from 0 to 29 which is basically 30 rows and the data columns we have three right that's the variables that we have here gender age and height and we can see the data type for this variable is category right gender age is float and height is also um, basically float right these are basically numeric so this is basically how to import or read um, SPSS or SL file in Python using the Jupyter Network.